How the technology works is this. This very slippery sled rolls without gravity back and forth. And the other end of this rope is connected to that very slippery sled. So when you pull on this rope, that very slippery sled will slide down the track. And that's the whole machine. Now, what does that mean as far as operation, and how does that make this different than anything else that's out here? All your cable column machines, that machine, that machine, most of the machines you've got out there, have gravity involved in how they work. So the force of gravity, which is 32 feet per second per second, is always on that weight. So when you're pulling on that cable, no matter where that cable is horizontally up and down, your body is automatically sensing gravity. It's there all the time, and it's something your body can hold on to. It's familiar with it. Every time you take a step, your foot pulls that energy out of the ground, and your body, your brain, you don't realize it, but your brain's feeling 32 feet per second per second. It knows how to use that. It can feel it through that rope, and, well, it's holding on to it. Because gravity is always pulling on that cable, on that cable machine, um, there's always a decelerating force against you. Even though you're accelerating this way, there's always a decelerating force that way. Then you can go to your rubber bands, your therabands and like that. The more you move something away from that rubber, stretch that rubber band, the more it pulls against you, the more it decelerates you. Okay, you can go to free weights. When you're picking up free weights, the problem with free weights is they're always vertical unless you go to medicine balls, which is really inertial exercise, just like this. But, but except for medicine balls, free weights are always 32 feet per second per second. You've always got that, and it's always vertical. The, and now this is where this technology is different. When I discovered this technology, this scientist guy I sat next to on an airplane, I won't make that a long story, made the statement that 90% of what we do on planet Earth is gravity free. That's what got me on this quest, was that statement. And I used to design backpacks for the United States Army for the purpose of carrying tow missiles. And I did a lot of, had a lot of knowledge at the time of kilocalories, you know, uh, burn for how much weight you have on your back for how far you march. So I knew about that, and I always thought it was all about gravity. All the literature said it was all about gravity. And I went back to my house and got out all my notes and stuff, and I'd put the math to it, and darn if that guy wasn't right. And three years later, we had an inertial exercise trainer. And uh, I won't go into all the long story between when this technology was created and the aha, you know, the guy is right. But fundamentally what this does is it takes gravity out of the equation in training motion. It takes resistance out of the equation of training motion. When you move in functional world, you are always accelerating and decelerating. Your joints are made to be mobile, and your body's designed to accelerate and to decelerate, and that's what the body does. That's all this does. All of functional athletics and all of functional sports, all of the, the functional arts like dancing is all about accelerating and decelerating, being graceful and fluid, and that's all about balance. If you don't have good balance, you'll fall down or you won't be graceful, you know? And I started this whole presentation out about it's about balance. Well, this is all about balance, is that when you pull on this rope, this thing accelerates. It's always accelerating. There is no constant speed. There's nothing decelerating. It's all accelerating until it gets to the other side. And then it's always decelerating. And what governs its acceleration and deceleration is your coordination and only that. Only your neural system can function this. There is nothing for you to hold on to. No rubber band elastic feeling, no gravity, you know, for the mass. Even, even no inertia from the mass because when you do free weights, like a guy that does a bench press, a guy that does a bench press with free weights, he gets that thing going, and you'll see this with a lot of bench presses. They'll do this, if you look at the weights from the side, it'll have this little S curve kind of thing to it. What's happening is he's losing his balance with the weights so he holds on to the inertia of the weight while the weight's going up and wastes energy with the inertia of the weight to get the weight back in control. Does that make any sense? You understand that? So you don't even have the inertia to hold on to. All you got yourself. And we took the inertia, we took the, uh, we took the gravity, and we took the resistance out of exercise to where now all you've got is pure acceleration and pure deceleration.